y'all it's brady welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today i've got a super fun recipe for you with cheeseburger egg rolls i'm gonna show you how i made these quick hash browns on the side too so let's jump on in okay so first thing you're going to want to do is gather your ingredients so i've got some chopped up pickles here if you don't like pickles you can leave those out I've also got some shredded Monterey Jack cheese, as well as some shredded cheddar cheese. I think this one is sharp cheddar, but you could use whatever cheese you like. Some salt and pepper. And again, add any seasonings that you prefer. I'm also using a tablespoon of garlic powder and a half a tablespoon of onion powder here. And I've got just a, a little over a pound here of cooked and drained 90 10 ground beef you can use whatever meat that you prefer there and then some wonton egg roll wrappers here and that is it other than a little dish of water and some oil to fry them in that is all you're gonna need so we're gonna roll them up just like these show here for egg rolls um, but we're gonna make it into cheeseburger egg rolls so if you like to have um, onions in yours uh, on your cheeseburger or that sort of thing you can add whatever else you like on on your cheeseburgers to this so let's combine our ingredients here because we're going to make our stuffing mix here for our egg roll so i'm going to add in my ground beef and then our cheeses so in goes the shredded cheddar and i think i did a cup of each um, but i'll have the exact directions and measurements for you in the description box and so you just want to get you know every last little bit of cheese here you could just use cheddar if that's what you have on hand you can use any cheese that you have on hand and then i'm adding in our tablespoon of garlic powder and our half a tablespoon of onion powder and then i'm going to fresh ground some pepper and sea salt here and just add it to taste um you know whatever that you prefer all right so now just get you a spoon and stir to combine and i actually left the pickles out of my combined mixture i just mixed up my seasonings my cheese and my meat because not all of us wanted the pickles but if everyone that's eating them is going to want the pickles or the onions or uh, whatever else tomatoes that you're wanting to add then you could do that at this step as well i just split it up and we're going to add our pickles individually um, so i'll show you how i do that here in a moment um, but yeah just showing you here that i've got the chopped up pickles reserved to the side let's check on our oil shall we okay so i've got about an inch and a half here of oil in my dutch oven you don't need a ton of oil um, but then you just need a clean surface and i just use my cutting board because it's easiest you're going to make it kind of you're going to set your wonton wrapper there on the diagonal and as i told you not everyone wanted pickles so i'm adding them one at a time and i will probably need some more pickles here but uh, for reference sake i just had the little bowl and then you're going to add your filling don't overfill these um, as i tend to do because it does make them difficult to wrap and stick together um, but here's my little ramekin of water gonna dip a clean finger in it and go around all four edges just about a fingertip width all around the edges of your wonton wrapper here and then we will roll these up and so i'm just going to kind of show you what i do uh, it's very similar to wrapping a burrito <laughs> um, but if you've made egg rolls before it's the same way there so you just take that front corner that's facing you flip it in Make sure that you're getting all of this tight, fold your ends in, and then keep rolling until you get a nice little pocket here. I'm gonna flip the camera around from the other side and try to show you a better angle of what I'm doing there and kind of slow down with it. Um, so let's watch that again, because 
as I was doing this, I realized that you may not have been able to see um, if you've never done like egg rolls or burritos for that matter either. Um, it may have just been a little difficult to see. So again, I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of my meat and cheese and seasoning mixture here. You just wanna try to make sure you don't have any bits hanging out, um, get you a nice clean surface. Again, fingertip width of water, just dip your finger in, glide it across, and this just helps the wrapper to stay together. And then we will roll this up tight. And it is kind of a tedious process to take the time and do this, but they are worth it and they are delicious. So um, I actually got my husband to hold on to the camera instead of just the tripod. And I think this ang angle may be a little better. So again, fold forward, then get it tight. And then you're gonna fold each end over and press them tight. And then you see how it looks like a little uh, envelope there. And then just tightly roll and roll one more time, press together, and your seams are all closed, just like that. So we're going to repeat this and just keep on going. And once all of these are done, then I will um, fry them up with you, and then I'll show you how I fry up some quick little refrigerated hash brown potatoes. And um, that's what we had for a lovely little snacky dinner, but this is a great football food a great, um, you know, like appetizer or just a fun little party food or like if you want to do like we were doing and have you a little snacky appetizer dinner, this is a great option. So here's a look at my um, egg rolls all wrapped up here and I don't remember how many this made. I want to say it made 15 or 18, um, but I separated some that have the pickles, that's what I was showing you, and some that don't. So there's your seam. That's your final seam. You wanna make sure that it is, is down and into your oil. And um, I always stick a wooden, uh, the end of a wooden spoon down in there. And if it bubbles around the wooden spoon, your oil is good and hot. You don't need to overheat it and do anything crazy. These do cook really quickly. They only take just a couple of minutes. So again, seam side down, don't overcrowd your oil and you don't have to have a whole ton of oil to do this. So. Um, just add them in. I think I'm going to add probably about five or six at a time and then um, we'll be good to go. And then you'll just stand here and kind of flip them over. I think I cooked these about a minute and a half on one side and then you can see here you'll be able to tell that they are golden brown on that side because you'll see it start coming up the sides. And because they are buoyant, <laughs> you may need to kind of hold them in place after that you after you flip them over to keep them on that side so that they will finish cooking and if they're like mine they're going to try to run away from you so just be very careful um always be very careful when frying things but um yeah these are delicious now another option is you could if you didn't want to mess with the oil um like frying it like this you could lightly brush the outsides of these egg rolls once they're assembled and put them in the air fryer, but you'll just have to test that out with temperatures and that sort of thing um, and time on your air fryer just to kind of see. But here's what they look like that I pulled out after they cooked about two minutes maybe on each side. So about four minutes total. They are nice and golden brown. And then I'm just cooking another batch of them. So while we're waiting on the rest of those to fry up, I'm going to show you real quick how I made some, um, not frozen, <laughs> refrigerated hash browns to go as our side item here. And um, yeah, so just to get you a little bit of oil, I think I used probably maybe two tablespoons for this whole bag. These are the Simply Potatoes, um, hash brown potatoes, and um, I'm going to season them up. I'm going to try to get them down into pretty much one layer, season it with salt and some garlic powder and you're going to want to cook this over medium high heat and i'm also going to add some minced onion if you had some chopped onion and your family doesn't revolt at that idea then you could certainly add in a fresh chopped onion here and uh, just kind of mix them around in your potatoes and that would be delicious too and i'm also going to throw in some fresh cracked black pepper and you could add any seasonings here just like with anything else. 
So season these up really well and um, then you're going to give them time to cook on this side. This is the hardest part about frying up these hash browns in my opinion is just leaving them alone. <laughs> um, because they will get that nice golden crisp and then you can flip them over um, and get the other side nice and crispy. Um, but you know, it, it's just time, <laughs> just time and patience. So we're gonna let this cook. Here's what they look like when they have started to brown and I have flipped them. So now the other side's gonna cook. And let me show you what these look like one more time, all plated up with the egg rolls, put a pickle on the side and some ketchup. You could do some mustard as well, whatever you like with cheeseburgers. So if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and check out these other videos popping up for you to watch.